Hello everyone, it's Shane Kanto, your Wasteland reviewer, and I'm here to review Return to Soul. And this is a new drama from writer-director Davy Cho, and focuses on a 25-year-old French woman who was adopted to France out of Korea, who winds up coming home trying to find her real birth parents while having some strained connections with the French couple who adopted her and this film is really anchored by Park Jimin who plays our main protagonist this young woman this young French woman who now comes back to Korea her homeland to try to find her parents this film is beautifully shot there's an atmosphere of a lot of weight and emotion throughout the film there are many interactions throughout the film that do carry a certain amount of emotion and trauma and tragedy among them in terms of, you know, for a lot of the early parts of the film, she's really not communicating with her family back in France and they finally connect and there's a lot of tension there and a strained relationship existing and you can feel that and Cho who directs the hell out of this film really injects that throughout every scene in this film where you feel it and you feel it right on the surface and this is that kind of human drama that's able to balance you know this young woman trying to find this where she came from and that identity and understanding that identity and potentially at the risk of harming the life that she's had up to this point. And that's a hard call to make, especially for a young person. And you feel all of that weight thanks to Jimin's performance and you have her interactions with you know, her actual parents, you have her interactions with her adopted parents, and all these other people she meets along the way. And there's just a lot of deeply resonant and relatable human moments throughout this film that allows you to connect to it, just feel it, and deeply resonate with the journey that this young woman's going on. And this is a film that really does hook you. Um, with its performances, with its direction, and has a compelling story that could potentially be something very moving and hopeful, or something potentially traumatic and very emotionally devastating. And this is the kind of film that takes you on that ride, and you're not quite, not exactly sure which one you're going to get. And... I'm going to leave it at that because there's plenty to process in this film. Strong performances, strong filmmaking, and a very emotionally resonant story all come together to make a worthwhile experience. But those are my thoughts on Return to Soul. Let me know what you think and let's talk some movies. But thank you as always for tuning in and supporting your Wasteland Reviewer.